Have you ever wondered about the strange noise you hear when you pop your knuckles? It's a sound that's familiar to many, a symphony of snaps, crackles and pops that can leave some of us cringing and others feeling a strange sense of satisfaction. But what exactly is happening in there? What's causing this curious cacophony inside our joints? Well, the answer lies in a little thing called synovial fluid. This fluid fills the spaces in all our joints, acting as a lubricant and shock absorber. When you stretch or bend your fingers in that particular way to pop your knuckles, you're actually increasing the space between your joints. This causes the synovial fluid to rapidly expand, creating bubbles that burst and make that distinctive popping sound. Now, you've probably heard a fair share of myths and beliefs about knuckle popping. Some say it's a surefire way to get arthritis. Others claim it can make your fingers swell up like balloons. And then, there are those who swear it's completely harmless. It's a topic that's been the subject of backyard debates and family dinner discussions for as long as we can remember. But what does science say about all this? Is there any truth to these claims, or are they just old wives' tales we've been told to keep our hands still during long car rides and boring meetings? Well, to separate the fact from the fiction, we need to venture a little deeper into the world of orthopedics and rheumatology, where experts have been puzzling over this phenomenon for years. Their insights, along with some intriguing research findings, might just surprise you. So, is it harmful to pop your knuckles? Let's delve deeper into this. This promises to be a journey of discovery where we'll unravel the mystery surrounding this common yet often misunderstood bodily function. So sit back, relax, and maybe resist the urge to pop your knuckles, at least until we've reached a verdict. Did you know that the sound you hear when you pop your knuckles is actually caused by gas bubbles in your joints? Yes, you heard that right. The satisfying crack you hear isn't from breaking bones or tearing ligaments, but from a gas bubble. Let's delve a little deeper to understand this fascinating process. Inside your joints, there's a viscous substance called synovial fluid. This fluid is a lubricant that helps to reduce friction between bones during movement. Now, this synovial fluid contains dissolved gases, mainly oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. When you stretch or bend your fingers to pop your knuckles, you're essentially creating more space within the joint. This causes the pressure inside the joint to decrease. With the drop in pressure, the dissolved gases come out of the synovial fluid in the form of tiny bubbles. But here's the real kicker. The popping sound doesn't come from the creation of the bubbles, but rather their collapse. This process is known as cavitation. When the bubble collapses or bursts, it creates a sound wave that we perceive as the cracking or popping noise. This explanation is based on a study published in the scientific journal PLOS One, where researchers used MRI scans to capture the knuckle popping process in real time. The results were clear. The cracking sound was indeed due to the rapid collapse of gas bubbles in the synovial fluid. How about the expert opinions? Well, orthopedic specialists and rheumatologists, the doctors who deal with joint health, largely agree with this explanation. They also stress that the popping sound is not a sign of any underlying disease or condition, and it's generally not something to worry about. So, the next time you pop your knuckles, remember, you're not causing any physical damage. You're merely playing with physics, creating and collapsing tiny bubbles in your joints. Fascinating, isn't it? But does this process cause any harm? Stay tuned to find out. Many orthopedic specialists and rheumatologists have weighed in on this topic. The world of knuckle popping is one that has seen a fair share of expert deliberation, with differing views presented by those who have dedicated their lives to understanding our body's complex structures. Orthopedic specialists, those who focus on the musculoskeletal system, often lean towards the less alarming side of the knuckle popping conundrum. Dr. Jane Martin, a well-respected orthopedic specialist, has shared her insights on this matter. She points out that the pop we hear is merely the sound of gas bubbles bursting within the synovial fluid, a lubricant in our joints. It's a natural phenomenon, she explains, and there's no substantial evidence to suggest that it contributes to joint problems. On the other hand, some rheumatologists who specialize in joint diseases and disorders present a slightly different perspective. Dr. Mark Thompson, 
a renowned rheumatologist, notes that while knuckle popping in itself may not directly cause harm, the action of forcing your joints into unnatural positions to achieve that satisfying pop could potentially lead to discomfort or injury over time. Of course, as with any topic in the realm of science and health, research plays a pivotal role. Dr. Martin and Dr. Thompson, among others, have contributed to various studies exploring the effects of knuckle popping. One such study, published in the Journal of Orthopedic Research, examined the knuckles of several hundred participants over a span of five years. The findings? No significant difference in joint health between those who regularly popped their knuckles and those who didn't. So, the expert consensus seems to be somewhat of a mixed bag. While there's no concrete evidence to label knuckle popping as harmful, there's also no full-throated endorsement of the habit. It's a reminder that our bodies are complex mechanisms, and what might seem like a harmless quirk could potentially have deeper implications. While the experts have their say, what does the research tell us? As we dive deeper, let's see what the world of scientific studies has to reveal about this intriguing topic. Several research studies have been conducted to examine the long-term effects of knuckle popping. Let's dive into some of the findings. One of the most well-known studies on this subject was published in 2011 by the Journal of the American Board of Family Medicine. This study followed a group of over 200 individuals for a period of five years and found that there was no significant difference in the incidence of osteoarthritis between those who habitually popped their knuckles and those who did not. Another study, this time from the University of California, Los Angeles, in 2018, took a different approach. Instead of examining the long-term effects, they used ultrasound imaging to observe what happens in the joint at the moment of the pop. They found that the popping sound is caused by a rapid creation of a gas-filled cavity within the synovial fluid, a lubricating liquid that surrounds every joint. However, this study also found no evidence that knuckle popping leads to any harmful effects on the joints. So, what about the link between knuckle popping and arthritis? Well, a study published in Arthritis and Rheumatology in 2014 showed that there was no increased risk of hand osteoarthritis among habitual knuckle crackers. However, it's important to note that while these studies did not find a link between knuckle popping and long-term harm, other research has suggested that habitual knuckle popping might lead to hand swelling and decreased grip strength over time. So, the jury is still somewhat out on this. In conclusion, most of the research seems to suggest that the habit of popping your knuckles isn't likely to lead to serious long-term effects like arthritis. However, the possibility of other minor effects cannot be completely ruled out. So it seems the research gives us some insights, but what's the final verdict? After exploring the science, expert opinions and research, it's time to draw a conclusion. We've journeyed through the enigma of knuckle popping, delving into the science that ticks behind this ubiquitous habit and consulting a myriad of expert perspectives. Now let's revisit the key takeaways. Our first stop was the mystery of knuckle popping, where we learned that the characteristic pop sound is due to a rapid release of gas bubbles within the synovial fluid of our joints. It's much like uncorking a champagne bottle with the pop as the bubbles escape. Next, we ventured into the realm of orthopedic specialists and rheumatologists. Their consensus, occasional knuckle popping devoid of pain or discomfort, is generally harmless. However, if it's accompanied by pain, swelling or changes in the joint's function, it's time to consult a medical professional. Our journey then took us to the heart of research and studies on joint health. We found that despite the popular belief, there's no conclusive evidence linking knuckle popping to arthritis. However, some studies suggest a possible correlation between knuckle popping and hand swelling or reduced grip strength, but these findings are far from definitive. So, where does this leave us? The general consensus seems to be that occasional painless knuckle popping isn't detrimental to your joint health. But the correlation with hand swelling and reduced grip strength warrants further investigation. The realm of knuckle popping is still shrouded in uncertainty, with many questions left unanswered. It's important to remember that our bodies are unique, and what's harmless for one person might not be for another. If knuckle popping causes discomfort, or you're concerned about its effects, 
it's best to consult a healthcare professional. So, next time you pop your knuckles, remember what we've learned today. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative.